outside, but the inside is the same. Every day we go out and face today. From the big rich man to the poor man on the street, yeah. Music for those who are really keen on it on management level, take it as a business. Don't take it as just a as just something you do as a joke brand yourself enough to be able to trade if you're in music as um at, at, at the level of a producer a manager and if if uh, if your manager does not take you as a brand and is just taking you as an individual chances mm. are you're going to be short-lived in the industry mm. are you hearing me better now very very good very good okay you're going to be very yeah. short-lived in the industry. You've got to be taken as a brand. A brand mm. means that this person looks at you as an entertainer, not just mm. as a musician. So mm. as an entertainer, you can become an actor, you can feature in adverts, you can be an influencer. Uh, the way Waiki Benda is doing the uh, insurance adverts now, um, mm. the way APAS uh, is always uh, pushing uh, products for Jumia, now, that is a person who has learned that mm. I am a brand. I'm not just a singer. Music mm. alone does not pay the bills. So he mm. has built a huge following, and mm. the brands get to identify that this guy has a huge following, so it's very easy for him to market himself. Right. And, um, and, 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 then, uh, and, and then it just stops being music that he earns from. Mm. Yeah, so it's very important that the person who manages you has got to push in a direction where you're a brand, not just a singer. Mm. And it's unfortunate then that I see a lot of people that are meant to be brands, but they have remained singers, either mm. because their managers are not able to, to push them in that direction. And I'm sorry, I'm going to mention some names. Um, oh. They are very big names. Um, Reman Amakula to me is a big brand. Um, even uh, the big, big names like Jose Chameleon are brands. Baby Cool is a brand. Those are big, big brands. But I've, I've, not, seen them, I've not seen them pushing products. Okay, Chameleon, I've had him do some radio adverts and mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, but I've not seen him push products the way I'm seeing Aipa Swaiki Benda pushing products. Mm -hmm. I can imagine if Rema Namakula, for example, had a chain of, uh, he shared a chain of, let's say, perfumes. I don't know what, what ladies would maybe a hair, a hair brand yeah. that is that is named after her if her manager branded Rema Namakula to deal with her fame and her big name her, mm. her staff would be jumping off the shelves even if it was just normal uh, as I've, I've seen a sugar going around today called Waganda so any product yeah. that these names can put themselves to mm. uh, that identify to their music if you look at the audience they have the numbers they have after the mm. Boom Party concert, Cindy should be having a product called Boom Party out mm. there that is selling. And this mm. product can even outlive her music career and uh, even feed her kids and great grandkids. So the managers have got, to have got to push musicians in that direction. It will change a lot in the music industry. Mm. Wow. That, that is really, really good uh, you know, advice. So... Yeah. Before we go to the last question, because now I can hear you clearly, I just and I can see you clearly, I just want you to address this question again, please, just because I, I didn't get you really well, about diversifying into music, doing business and music at the same time. Just to talk about that again, so that we can have a good video. Like when you're a startup or what I'm doing currently? When you when you're a startup and what you're doing currently, both. Okay, there are a lot of people. And um, by the way, I'm 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 41 years of age, and so yeah. I've I've seen quite a lot eh, in these years. <laughs> and I, I came back to music after so so many years of just working. Mm. And the little experience I've gotten out of music right now, like I said, I found that it's very expensive to to do to do music, and the returns mm. are not are not there. They are they are very minimal. For many mm. people, there are few that are making a lot of money. That's in this region, though. It's not. It's not something that I can say is universal. Those that have mm. record labels are able to make money uh, because they invest in them. But if you if you don't have anyone that is investing in you, it's very important that you balance. So if you have mm. that day job, please keep it. 
uh, please keep it and ensure that you do music as uh, a part-time thing or as a hobby mm. until you're able to figure out how the industry works. When you figure it out, then you're able to take the risk of, can I, can I actually do this full-time? Am I mm. able to feed on, on, on uh, what I've saved for a bit if the music is not bringing any money? Um, so I, I don't think one should rush it. Now, I'll tell you how my business, for example, has helped me. The fact that I entered into advertising and did that, mm -hmm. I am able to push my music using my own media, for example. And so I don't spend a lot on that. Uh, in spite of people thinking this guy spends a lot of money on media, I, I don't actually spend much on it because of mm -hmm. the advantage that I'm in that trade. If yeah. today I decided I was going to do um, a, a little cozy concert, I have a feeling it would not be very expensive for me because a lot of my clients and my brands that I've identified with for a long time would possibly buy the tables. So I would not even have to to strain getting, mm -hmm. um, uh, getting myself to push a concert and just look for tickets. So it's very right. important to build these relationships mm -hmm. uh, business-wise because then you're able to translate that into your music career. Though I think doing the music and then taking it into business is not as easy as that. It's not as easy as the other way around. Um, so have a day job to make sure you have that food on the table. So it gives you a peace of mind to also be creative. Right. Okay. Well, thanks for that. So you talked about actually concerts and that, and that reminded me that some artists right now because we're in lockdown they're doing virtual concerts nice. are you planning on doing something like that am i planning on are you planning on doing a virtual concert because we're seeing so many artists doing that right now uh, yes i am not yet ready to release the news but yes uh the other day yeah. i had um, posted something about bushington visiting me that's a hint mm -hmm. on what might be coming. Um, mm -hmm. Though, initially, when they started, I was supposed to have done a listener's party. Unfortunately, the COVID happened, so all those plans were postponed. But now that the mm -hmm. trend is people are doing online concerts, and mm -hmm. um, I've done a lot of videos. I have about 18 videos out, all of them playing at the same time. So I, I tend to look like I'm a studio and... Um, a studio artist who mm. possibly cannot perform. Now I'm, I'm going to disprove or prove to people that I'm a genuine artist that can be. So we'll be having something coming up. And I think by the end of next okay. week, I'll be able to open up about uh, about that question mm -hmm. properly. Okay. I, I mean, we're excited. We're excited for the good news. To yes. Hear the good news. Yeah. So... Uh, Two more questions to go. One is on um, marketing and branding. How could how can you advise? Hello. 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 Yes. 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 Yeah, so what's your advice on marketing and branding of any business sort? Uh -huh. Now that's where my, my that's where my strong points are. Yeah, branding, branding <laughs> is something that even can be personal branding. You as a human being can decide to be can decide to brand yourself that the public perceives you in a certain way. I perceive uh, a few musicians as this is a this is a, this is a, a a lady who is very formal and um, mm. an example is Juliana. Juliana has just had a baby. I'm sure even you, Oliver, mm. didn't know that she was she was pregnant. Right? No, I didn't. Very few people mm. didn't. Very few people knew that. But for me then, that meant that it was intentional. And if you notice, throughout her career, she's that person that is sort of a mystery. That is her, that is her brand. That's how she's branded herself. Um, Apus, your, your, your friend Apus, for me, is bordering on being a comedian. And I think Alex <laughs> Mahanji should give him a slot on Comedy Store. <laughs> that's how he's branded himself. And it's beautiful to see that as well, you know? Yeah, I love so, him. Yeah, that's, that's personal branding. But mm. when it comes to music now, it's, uh, like I said, take yourself out of just being a singer. Become an entertainer. Become a brand. 
and mm. let people perceive you that you're serious. And for example, now the things I've done um, personally, I a lot of singers now from release uh, CDs and um, branded items and stuff like that. They need to do that so that someone has something mm. they hold on to. They're wearing your jersey, they're wearing your jumper, they identify with you. And a lot of these singers have a lot of fans who, who feel like they own a part of you. So make sure that you 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 in the you're in their face. You're very present. Uh, mm. So I'm not very sure whether whether I am answering your question right because I didn't hear the question well. But much of a branding for me is you being in the face of people as a product, not as a mm. person. You've got to become a product. Right. Yeah. You so did like, for example, one thing yeah. I did is that I made flash discs which are. Uh, of good capacity, well branded, and I distributed them to people that I feel actually use these flash discs. So chances are, if the DJ is moving his playlists when he does not use Bluetooth, he's going to be using my flash to move the stuff. So my mm. face, my face is in his uh, whatever, um, my face is in his face. So chances right. are, he might actually get to play one or two tunes off, off uh, the playlist for the day. Mm. True, true. I get that. And I saw your marriage yeah. as well. Are you are you selling them? Your t-shirts and hoodies. I saw those. Those who are lucky to get them before the sh the lockdown got them free. Uh, but starting okay. next week, uh, they're gonna be out. But they're going for. But it's a token fee because really it's the same price I get them at. So I just give them out again to push the brand at uh, only mm -hmm. 60k and it comes with a free cd as well so really it's uh, oh. it's a token wow that's interesting yeah. that's pretty much like free i need i need one Nearly, to really. yeah. <laughs> so this is our last question gabriel actually uh it's it's not like a question question we heard that you are soon to join nollywood and start those nigerian things so how is <laughs> How true is that? I knew that was coming. Okay, that's the that's one of uh, the things that the new management company based in uh, based in New York is, is has been able to put together because they manage quite um, uh, a big chunk of uh, artists in West mm. Africa and and uh, celebrities and uh, actors, directors, producers who are under them. And one way for me to have broken into the West African market would have been to for example do a collab with uh, mm. a big artist there mm. um but i decided to go unique i said no let me let me go into the movies and luckily for me the opportunities were there so mm. right now we are working on a few uh, one or two three movies and i end okay. don't expect me to be to be in some funny movie where you you know they have a lot of witchcraft <laughs> after that well, that's the high-end <laughs> stuff uh, because yeah. for me now, that's the path to, to even Hollywood. Mm. Who knows? To dream big. I have time on my, my side. So mm -hmm. it's the management company pushing that. We're already going to be shooting very soon. So mm. even these plans will be, will be revealed by the management company that, uh, that I got. Uh, I think end of next week, we might have some titles being thrown out. Wow, but it's but a big thing for me. It's an amazing so deal. Like I mean, I've just been in this for two years, so getting uh, getting into the Nigerian market is is amazing. Yeah, it is. But what about the multitasking? Now you're you've been doing your businesses, music, and now you know acting as well. How are you gonna How are you gonna handle all of that? It's about management. Oh, yeah. It's about management. You've got to have capable people running your businesses, and the businesses mm -hmm. I run, I'm very lucky that I I um, I got people that know what to do even in my absence they're able to to run things so i'm mm. going to be delegating a lot of powers and of course that word delegation is very very important even even in the other things we've been discussing you've got to have a way to let people manage uh, certain aspects mm. of your life and certain aspects of your business so employ good good people never compromise on the sort of talent you work with never uh, because a lot of people do favors for your sister your brother so you're running mm. your music career and you decide that your elder brother or your cousin is going to be your manager just because they are your cousin and mm. so th those are things that you have to be very careful about even when you're running your business so mm. i have a good team of people that i'm not related to that are just mm. good at what they do so even when i'm away they're able to to run things of course, you've realized how COVID has also revealed that we can do a lot online. 
we don't have to mm. go to those offices anymore and just sit down. After this True. lockdown, things are really going to change for a lot of people. This office uh, mindset is going to change. So with your yeah. one phone in your hand and internet on it, you can achieve so much, so much. So that's the direction where we're going. So yes, I'll be in Hollywood and I'll be able to send a, a, an email to a client and get feedback. Okay, okay. Well, yeah. I'm excited to see where you're heading. And I got to say that I, oh, I love your music as well. I've been listening to this song that is called We Just Want Love. I feel like it's talking to me. <laughs> it seems like people's you favorite. This song? It's, it's amazing. Like, it's it's people's amazing. favorite. What is very strange, my favorite is actually a local Uganda song called Number One. Really? This, this song speaks like to me. I love the words, yeah. I love the information, because I love those, you know, I love positivity, I love positive vibes. So when I heard this song, it's like, oh, you're, you're speaking to me. It's a motivational me. song, it's a positive song, it and yeah, people do love it. Yeah, I'm so... I'm going to an epic version of it very soon. A what version? Well, an, an acoustic version. I'd love to have just a guitar oh. on it. Okay, that would be amazing. Yeah, that, that would be amazing. So, if there are any musicians gonna... out there that also love it, I would have wanted to have some people do a remake of it. Free okay, of charge. Okay. I think it's a beautiful song that should go out to the world. So, whoever wants to do a remake of that song, feel free to mm. contact me. And mm. we, all I would need is to know that you'll be using a good producer. And then you go ahead and do the song. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that, that's, a, that's a great offer, actually. So, we're going to have your final remarks and then you will share your social media handles, how people can reach you. If you, if you have a mobile money number as well, you can share that so that we can send you some money as well. I'm just kidding. Yeah. But yeah, so your final remarks. Guys, thank you for listening to this. I, I know a lot of you are even going to come later. Unfortunately, the network didn't do us justice. But it's just the beginning. We have a lot of things to chat about. Uh, so thank mm. you and support the music. Follow me. Instagram is Gabriel K underscore sings underscore mm. because when I tried Gabriel K sings, someone had taken it. So the underscore is very hard to explain sometimes. Oh. So that's yeah. a small dash at the bottom. Gabriel K underscore sings. Facebook is mm. Gabriel K sings. Um, uh, Twitter is uh, as well the same as Instagram. Gabriel K underscore sings. Otherwise, I am mm. reachable directly. I answer my own messages. So if you want to talk to me, feel free to drop me a DM. I'll be able to get uh, to respond. Hey, and people to you, are Oliver, going to thank you. you. Thank you for hosting me. <laughs> oh, thanks for your time and thanks for the information you shared.